The red carpet was rolled out at the Egyptian Theater in Hollywood this past week for the star-studded premiere of Run the Race, a film about two desperate brothers willing to sacrifice today for a better tomorrow. Executive produced by two very famous brothers, Tim and Robbie Tebow. We were there to give the dynamic duo the Keep the Faith Contagious Influencer Award for their Night to Shine annual event for those with special needs. So with the film being sports themed and taking place on a football field, well, I just had to ask Tim the obvious. Why is it in every game, especially with my beloved Buckeyes, it seems like they play the toughest, the hardest in the last two minutes of the game and you go, what happened to the other 58 minutes? Is it always like that? No, that's a really good question. You asked that about my breaking life in sports. I always feel like I was the best in the last few minutes. And people are like, did you just try harder? No, I don't know. I just, it just happened that way. Tell me what it is about where you are going in life that makes you comfortable in your skin right now. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going in life. I'm just trying to live every day. Uh, it sounds silly, but I'm trying to live every day to the fullest with purpose, passion, and meeting. I don't know what's next. I didn't know that um, you know, five years ago I was going to be playing baseball. God opens and closed doors. You know, if you asked me in college where I was going to be, I'd say hopefully, you know, winning a few Super Bowls. But you know, God closed that door and He opened other ones. And some disappointments and, and some, you know, praises for it. But in everything, you can try to look for what God is doing and uh, and trust Him in the midst of the process. How come God gives one guy so much talent? and I can't even get a call back on the job I'm on. And I go to church, I read my Bible, I'm a, I'm a faithful person, what, life isn't fair. What would you say to encourage them? I'd say that God has a, a unique plan and purpose for everyone, and He loves you drastically that He gave His best for you. He gave His Son for you. The church isn't a building we go to on Sunday. It's a people we get to do life with, but those people aren't called to do the same things. Wherever you're at, wherever He's called you, wherever He's put you, there is something for you to do. There is purpose in your life. There is meaning in why you're there. And you know, when we look at the heroes in the Bible, they could have asked a lot of those questions. Why am I writing this book from prison? Why am I in a lion's den? But they had faith in the midst of those moments that later on they could see how God was using it and how they would be heroes in the Bible that millions of people would look up to one day. And they didn't know it at the time. Job didn't know it at the time when he's going through heartache, but how God was going to honor him at the end of it. And so to someone that's going through a tough time, I wouldn't say that it's, that it's easy. I wouldn't say that it all makes sense, but I would say if you try to live it out for Jesus, I believe at the end of the day it's going to be worth it. So when you were growing up, what was life like in uh, the uh, Tebow home? Uh, chaotic at times, but fun. Uh, we grew up on a farm with 42 acres and cows, chickens, dogs, a two acre garden and, and my dad would put us to work, but you know, me, Peter and Timmy would find a way to, to get a football and go in the yard or baseball and play. and you know, get into lots of mischievous things that kids do growing up. So a uh, ton of fun and uh, and just, yeah, we we got in some trouble, but uh, it's really, you know, we have a very tight family for sure. I, I need a childhood story. Okay. Okay. I need to know some kind of, of I, I need to know some kind of trouble you guys got into something that uh, maybe maybe your parents don't even know about. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you need some dirt. <laughs> I need some dirt. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Well, we definitely got into some quite a quite a few uh, situations that were sticky. But I, well, the first one that popped in my mind is uh, it, we we got home from church it was Sunday afternoon and uh, we we had watched a John Wayne movie and so we we went out to stables and we were hanging. Timmy dared me to um, to hang on the rafters and he would run the horse out and. Uh, He's like, you can't drop down with no saddle and just drop on top of the horse and run out with it. So he did, of course, he dared me, so I got to do it, right? <laughs> so I sure enough, I hang from the Raptors and he runs the horse out and I drop on top and have nothing to hang on to. So immediately get thrown off and 
land and break my arm and it you know was doing a whole L shape and it's like thank you for that one Timmy so that was that was one of about four different times that I broke my arm growing up so two broken collarbones countless amounts of stitches so lots of injuries now, happened <laughs> now hold on hold on I'm, I'm putting two and two together now did you play football I did in college I did and did he like have this thing about well if I just get him to break an arm or a leg or two I just know I can like keep him over there a little bit and I won't have this big competition head on I mean, I mean did he did he have something up his sleeve no we we always got along really good actually when I was in college I would send you know I'm 18 Timmy's 12 years old I would send him my college football workout schedule and man and so when he was 12 years old he was following my college football workout book and uh, the same thing we were doing in college so he always was motivated and driven and so I would I would send it to him and, and he would do it at 12 years old so um, yeah it was those was fun times for sure that was good I got to beat up on him a lot and that's probably why he, you know he's as tough as he is <laughs> And that's why you're getting him in the film business to beat up on him again. For sure. Yeah, it's just another outlet to do it. <laughs> For sure. Run the Race by Brothers Tebow is now playing. To hear more stories from Tim and Robbie Tebow, listen to Keep the Faith, America's number one Christian radio program. And for the complete interview, subscribe to our CIA Contagious Influencers of America podcast. Available on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the iHeartRadio app, or wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. In Hollywood, I'm David Sams.